I come from running fashion brands since I was 15 years old. I've actually taken one brand and gotten on Forbes 30 and under 30 thanks to it. Now, with that being said, this is the reasons why you should not start a clothing brand in 2024. And make sure you watch until the very, very end because I have some last bit of advice that is extremely important if you do decide to end up starting a clothing brand. Clothing designers, I feel like now are starting to be glorified almost like rappers. And it's not all glamorous. Like people are out here thinking that you just make all this money and there's no operating expenses. But even if you did $30,000 or $50,000 in clothing sales, there's still a high cost of goods in terms of production and what you need to make that product. Uh, there's still design and development time that goes into it and every single person's time and development as a creative is so different. So I think there's so many unaccounted costs for when you're starting a clothing brand that people don't factor into that process beyond, oh, this is some cool clothes that I would wear and some friends want to buy. But Building a clothing brand or building a fashion brand is like a large money pit. You know, it's like you stack all this money, you put in all this money for inventory, you put in all this money for fashion, and you're really trying to build brand equity. And it's a really, really long game. It's not like, oh, you're just going to have free money at the end of the year magically, you know, um, in the very beginning. Of course, as you grow and, and as the business grows and matures, the hope is that you get to the point where you can either pay yourself salary or pay yourself salary plus some profit share that's sizable enough and doesn't hurt the business, you know? But in the very beginning, I think it's extremely, extremely difficult and people just don't talk about that. Yeah. The only way you really make money as a clothing brand owner is obviously by releasing new product. And this churn cycle of just releasing new product is extremely difficult to do. You're staying on top of trends, you're staying on top of um, just new materials, you're staying on top of what's relevant and who do you want to get the clothes in front of and also who do you need the clothes to be on. I knew what artists I really loved that I believed in that were coming up and I was able to get my clothes in front of them. I knew who I wanted in the clothes, I knew who I was going after and, um, but you know, it just never turns off. So if you get into this thinking you're going to make a quick buck, this is not the industry to do so. Maybe, yes, having a brand, you have a massive, massive gross margin usually if you do a markup properly. But that gross margin is not just imaginary free money that's profit in your bank because you made it. Just because you made something, let's say for 10 or 30 bucks or 50 bucks and you managed to sell it for X amount of price on a markup, does not really mean that that <laughs> markup is just free money in the bank. It's really your money to go market the brand. And uh, that is an incredibly expensive process for anybody starting a brand. You know, having somebody, getting somebody educated on what their sizing is, you know, whether that's having a store, whether that's doing a pop-up, whether that's getting into retail stores, uh, to just being online and, I think I was only able to do it because I genuinely lived and breathed and loved fashion to that point. You know, to be honest, I started this video wanting to bash on why you should never start a clothing brand. But to me, when I think back to when I think back to that 15 year old me with a dream, I think I would have still done everything that I have done today, even if I had watched this very video. And the reason why is because everybody has a different timing in the market everybody has a different opportunity in the market and a different vision and right now it's never been easier to make clothing design clothing and get it to people and reach people organically millions of people for free without having to run ads uh, than ever so when i think about it if i was 15 again and i really wanted to start a clothing brand i probably still would with that being said, I am a special kind of stubborn. And I think that, uh, you know, I am not necessarily everybody. But if you are watching this still to the very end, you are probably also a very special kind of stubborn. And I say go after it because you have one life and you don't want to be that 80 year old guy who's 
just on his rocking chair outside, filled with regret that you didn't go after your dreams. And, you know, to me, no matter what ends up happening, even if you lose X amount of money trying this and it doesn't work out and you decide to hang up the ropes later on, just knowing that you will not have that regret and being fulfilled and knowing that you tried is worth something. And to me, it's worth everything. So I hope this helps you. Uh, if it does, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching this all the way through and hope to hear an update about your future clothing brand or whatever you end up doing in life. <laughs>